This is the Everything You Have to Know About Bridges video for Grade 3 to help prepare you for your upcoming bridge test. There's four types of bridges that you're responsible for. There's the beam, the truss, the arch, and the suspension bridge. Here's a beam bridge. Let's take a look at this, see what it's all about. Well, if we look closely, it's a road on top of another road to help you get to the other side. That's what bridges do. They help you cross gaps. And it's supported by this pillar, which we don't call pillar. We call it pier, P-I-E-R. And this pier supports the road so it doesn't crumble. If you got rid of this pier, that whole road just crumbles. What are beam bridges good for? Well, they're good for short gaps. You don't want to use them for big spaces because they're not very stable. Although today they've found ways to make them stable, uh, traditionally you want to, they've been using them for very short gaps, like this log over here, which is a very, very simple beam bridge. It's just a log, helps you get to the other side, nothing fancy. That's what beam bridges are. They're nothing fancy, and because they're nothing fancy, you don't need a lot of materials to build it. It's just a road and a couple piers here and there, and they're cheaper. To, they're not cheap. They cost millions of dollars. However, they're cheaper than the other kind of bridges. So they're for short gaps, and they're cheaper to make. Truss bridge. Let's see what truss bridge is all about. I'm going to show you a quick animation. Let's pan the camera over, guys. Let's move it over. Let's move it right there. Okay, here's what a truss does. Let's say you have a rectangle, and you push on the rectangle. It bends. Rectangles are horribly weak. They're not strong at all. See? But we can strengthen it like this, put a bar through it, and all of a sudden it's a super strong shape. And if you look closely, it's this rectangle has been transformed, because you put the bar in the middle, it's been transformed into two triangles. And that bar has a special name. It's called a truss. You got it. So camera pan back. Perfect. Okay, so truss bridges are just bridges that have these squares on the side. It's, it's a road. We still have the road like the beam, but it's made extra strong by putting these squares on the side and then trusses right through them to make these squares turn into triangles, which are now stronger. So we have two triangles here in the square. We have two here. We got two there. And we got two here. We got a little triangle there. And that's what these trusses do. They make these bridges extra strong. Here's two more truss bridges. Again, you can identify them because they have these squares on the side of the road, and these squares have these right there, these trusses slashing right through them. And then here, look at this. You got a square, you got boom, truss, truss. See all these X's going through? Those are all the trusses. Now, this road here is in my home city, Edmonton, Alberta, which is in Canada. That's where I teach. And this bridge is strong enough because of these trusses to support not only cars going through and people walking on the side um, uh, on the inside of the fence but it's also strong enough to support trains see how that train sitting on top that's how strong these truss bridges are and here's another one you got a truss bridge you got these squares and you got these trusses going through them now what are these truss bridges good for they're good for medium gaps let's make this bigger they're good for medium to large gaps they're not meant for super wide gaps but they are meant for fairly long gaps. They can span and they can be stable for a long period of time, for, for a long span. Um, the downside though is they are more expensive because you need more metal and more road to make it. So you have, yeah, you have the road there, but look at all that metal on the side. That stuff isn't free. That costs money. So they're more expensive, but they're stronger and they could be longer than the beam bridge. Like these bridges here are much longer than beam bridges could ever handle. And they still have these piers. You see these piers over here? And they support the road on top. Now, if you got rid of these piers, what would happen? Bridge crumbles, right? It doesn't matter if you have trusses through them or not. The whole thing crumbles. Okay, it's got to be supported in the air. Let's take a look at the next one now. We have the arch bridge. Let's go back to our model. Pan the camera. Now, let's take a look at this arch. Let's click on it. See what happens if you push down on an arch. The whole thing flexes. Now, arches are pretty strong, but look, this is no good. You don't want this bridge to, to flex like that. That would be bad for the cars driving on it. So what we do to strengthen is we put a wall here, and we put a wall there so that it doesn't flare out on the sides. Look what happens. These walls over here, there. Now it pushes back. Those walls prevent that bulge from going and flaring to the side. 
Guess what these walls are called? They're called buttresses. Yeah, no fancy ideas, no giggling here. It's called a buttress. That's the name that's given. Let's go back to this buttress. So we got right there. So here's the buttress. If you look in the arch, here's the arch. The buttress is going to be on each side. So we have one over here. And we got another one over here. And they, they're, they're kind of piers, right? They're, they're the piers. But because they support the arch in the middle, because they're for arches, we call them buttresses. Here's another arch bridge. Let's uh, get this really big. Here's the arch bridge. You can see the arch again. There's the road on the top. And that arch is super strong because, well, arches are just strong shapes. But look what's on each side. You got a buttress here. And you got another buttress over there. What would happen if those buttresses were removed? You can probably guess. That whole bridge just collapsed. That arch just flattens. It just goes, Pow! it just flattens, just like you saw with that animation. I got something here I want to show you. I got this here. Some of those arch bridges a long time ago, some of these bridges, let me make this bigger, they were made out of bricks. And these bricks were packed and stacked on top of each other in a curve like that. And that central brick right here had a special name and a special role. It was called, it's called a keystone. Let's spell that. It's called a keystone. Now, it's called a keystone for a good reason, because that stone right here, that keystone, was is necessary to hold all these together. See, this keystone presses down on all these and presses down on all these to prevent them from falling apart. If you took that keystone out, that whole thing just crumbles. This These bricks just start falling apart. And you don't even need cement to keep these together. That keystone is strong enough to push down on all these and keep them locked together. And, of course, what do we have here? We got a buttress, and we got another buttress. And the last type of bridge I'm going to look at that we will study is, let's see it, the suspension bridge. I love these bridges. They are super long. These bridges here are the longest bridges in the world. And you can go for miles and miles and miles in these bridges. They are designed to be very, very strong. And the main design here is we got towers. We got a tower here. We got another tower here. And we can have as many towers as we want. We can have another one over on the side and more and more and more. But the idea is that look at these curved lines. You know what these are? They're cables. And these are cables too, the ones that are hanging down. Those are all cables. And guess what that is? This thing here. That's the road. That's where the cars drive. And what's holding that road up so it doesn't fall into the ocean below? Those cables are holding it up. So these cables can hold this road up and that's why you can stretch these very long because these cables are super strong and they can go for miles and miles and miles. So you got these towers, you got these cables, and you got the road hanging off the cables. If you see a bridge that's hanging off cables, you've got a suspension bridge. Here's something else. You've probably seen these in your playground. See these? You got the road. You got and then the kids, you know, at recess time, they start jumping on these things. But look at this. That road, that bridge is supported by those cables. So that's a suspension bridge. Here's another suspension bridge in England. I forget the name of it, but it's a beautiful bridge. And again, you've got the cables. You've got these towers. No buttresses. It's not an arch bridge. These are just towers. And you've got the road hanging by the cables. And these bridges here, just like, just like this, they kind of can swoosh around. They'll, they'll bounce a little bit. They'll move. Just like when you jump on these in the playground, these bridges here, they'll, they'll do kind of the same thing. Oh, these here? Oh, I've, I've never had the courage to, to walk across these. Um, you'll find them in a lot of mountainous areas. If you go to Vancouver, they've got one, the, the Capilano. Um, yeah, these are scary. But it's the same idea. You've got a road, and, and this is not for cars. This is just people to walk through. To the other side of the jungle or the forest it's hanging off these cables so it's a suspension bridge now what are these bridges again good for they're good for very large gaps these are the bridges you want for the super large gaps however there's a downside you need a lot of metal cables to build this you need a lot of road a lot of metal cables a lot of these big powerful towers 
right here. These towers are, are pretty expensive. They're, they're not cheap to make. Neither are these cables. And so it does get expensive. These bridges are among the most expensive bridges in the world to build. So that's the downside. But they're nice because they can go very long. But they're not so nice because they're expensive and you need a lot of material to build them. Well, I think that's about it. I think, yeah, that was the last slide. So I hope that was a good review for you. That's everything you have to know about bridges. I hope you do very well in your tests. Study hard, and I'll see you in class.